Welcome back to the Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4, 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This is part 34 in this part we're going to start the free play mode. So we're going to do the first level of year 1, the magic begins. When you're doing free play mode you can play as whatever character that you want to play as. So I'm going to play as Justin Finch Bletchley because we actually don't have many characters at all. So I'm just going to play as him for just for fun sakes. It's not that special, really. It's nothing special with him. I'm going to play as him. So free play mode is that you actually play through the game again, but this time... Well, free play mode is just about playing through the game again, but this time you can play as every character that you want to. You can also choose to play through it in story mode again, but what I'm going to do now that I'm doing uh, free play mode is that I didn't get I didn't I chose to not get the special items and all that stuff in story mode so I'm going to use the free play mode to get all the extras in the levels so in this part I'm going to get the student peril I'm going to get true wizard I'm going to get all the house crest oh yeah I'm going to get every character start as well I'm going to get everything so that is what I'm doing so if you destroy these two tables, there's one on each side, and you put them together and make a painting out of it, the painting will show the Gryffindor house crest, and then you will get the Gryffindor house crest. So to get it, you just want to use some Garden Leviosa on these small chairs, and I'm going to use Hagrid because he's quite tall, to reach up to the Gryffindor house crest, and that is how you get it. Of course, it's quite boring to play through the game again, but of course, if I'm going to do 100% of this, I have to do it, because there is no way that you can actually play through the game in story mode and get everything the first time you are in the levels. So you pretty much have to do it. It's quite annoying, but this is just how it is. So it's of course going to take a lot of parts, to do all of the levels in all four of the years, but that just has to be. I'm going to try and give one part to each level, even though the parts might be really long, because I wanted to take up like a lot of, a lot of videos. I'm not going to do that I, because I don't want to. I don't want one level to have two parts. That's not going to happen. So this one, we're going to, the thing that I made just there, we're going to actually use it later when we come out of Gringotts to get the Hufflepuff house crest. So we don't really have to worry about it just now. So in this game, you can actually get like um, red bricks that give you, that are special things. You can get like, they're not really cheats. But they're kind of the same thing, just that, yeah. But you can get one that's called Christmas, so everyone gets Christmas hats. You can get stud magnets, and you can also get stud multipliers. So you can have, like, you can, if you get all of them, like, the multiply by 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. If you actually toggle all of those at the same time, you will actually get loads of stuff. So you can actually just do that if you want to, but because it's not cheating. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit about this. Look, I just made this and I'm going to try and jump on it to get up there and get the purple stud and the other ones. But I can't do it. For some reason it just breaks for some reason. So if you guys have any idea, the slightest idea why this happens, then please, please, please tell me, because they really, really annoyed me. But yeah, if you have all of the multipliers on, you will get loads of studs. That can be very helpful if you're going to get true wizard in the levels, which is, of course, filling up the stud bar that you can see at the top. Not at this point, but yeah. But I'm not going to do that because I want to show you guys that I can actually complete this game 100% without... Um, the red bricks to gold. So yeah, so I'm going to do everything without it. 
which is going to take a lot of time, which basically means that I have to basically get ruin and put together and well use the magic on everything in the levels to get studs out of them. That is basically what I have to do. So as you can see I'm actually doing a lot of stuff to get studs. But you have to do it if you want to get the studs. So you'll have to do it. But get the red bricks if you want to. They are mostly on in Hogwarts though and I'm not going to Hogwarts until I'm actually done with free pay mode, so you won't be seeing that for a long time. I'm trying to upload uh, my videos quite uh, regularly and quickly uh, recently, and that is because I really want to finish this walkthrough in the summer, because I don't want this walkthrough to take, to go on all the way to the autumn again, because... Here in Norway, you go in like I don't I I don't really know what schools are like called in English. That the Norwegian schools are called in English, but of course you have like ten years at children's school or whatever. And this is my tenth year, so I'm sixteen and a half. And yeah, in the autumn I'm going to begin at a new school, which is like high school or something. And yeah, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to move for that because I don't live at live a big place like a big city. I don't do that. I live in a village, so I have to move to another city to stud stud to study. So that is what I have to do. So I'm I I don't really want to continue on with Lego Harry Potter years one through four to the autumn. But I'm, I'm going to still do walkthroughs at that time. I, I don't want to quit YouTube at this moment in time. So you won't be seeing me quitting uh, anytime soon. If you pull that lever with Hagrid, you get the Ravenclaw house quest. And we got the Slytherin house quest just a while ago. I didn't show you, I didn't tell you guys, but you pretty much saw it. It's not that hard to get the Slytherin house quest, actually. You can get it really easily. You can get it in story mode as well. Now there's blue studs down here, if you want to get those. There's always in levels, and in in this LEGO game, and the next one, they always put like loads of studs, like blue studs and purple studs, in the corners where you actually can't see them. So I would suggest if you don't have many studs, you can actually just search the corners and you will, you're will you bound to find something. Uh, we got Mr. Ollivander and we got Tom the Innkeeper, I believe. Just here, that is two out of three character studs. One more character stud to get. And we also got, we got the uh, student in peril. We, we've soon got um, True Wizard. There we actually got True Wizard, and we need one more character start and the Hufflepuff house crest, and then we're done with the magic begins. So yeah, that is quite cool actually, getting loads of stuff soon when I present in this level, which is quite good. But something, I'm, 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 as I said, I'm going to move to another city for high school, and I'm trying, I'm looking for apartments at this moment, and I want to live alone. So, I haven't done this before, well actually I have done it before, don't worry about that, I'm just checking what I've got. Uh, I want to do like live commentary, I want to try it, but always when I think about doing it or when I record I'm scared of like my family members are going to walk in and I'm going to be talking and it's happened before when I did my first walkthrough of Ratchet and Clank, which is a long time ago. It happened then a few times, but of course I edited it out. Uh, but yeah, I want to do that when I move to high school because I can actually do it without getting interrupted, which which would be quite cool. So yeah, in the summer I have to like figure out what games I'm going to be doing at high school. I don't know why I'm talking about high school already, but and I also. I can bring my PlayStation 3 and other recording stuff to, the, to my apartment for high school, 
But if it, I think it would have been better if actually when I came home in the weekends I could just record home and then I could upload it high school. I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling the need of telling you guys this because it's not really that important. I've pretty much figured it out anyways. No, you don't have to. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say there. I don't know what I was going to say. I say so many weird and strange things. It's just very weird. Yeah, it is very weird. If you watch my videos for quite a while, you will know that I say a load of bullshit. You pretty much know that. Uh, yeah, let's go into Harris Vault and then we get outside of Green Gods again. So you can see that green ooze on the on the ground just there. And now I just tried for one last time to get up because I wanted the studs, but I can't do it. You can see Professor Quirrell and Draco and other wizards and witches here at Diagon Alley actually. It's not really busy here at Diagon Alley. So you want to get this and you want to move it all the way over to the green ooze outside Green Goth and Orlanders and I think that's Ilux Owl Emporium or something. And you want to remove it and you get the Hufflepuff House Quest. Like that. And there we got everything. We got everything for this level. So going to Mr. Ollivanders and that's level complete. So we got Tom the Innkeeper and Mr. Ollivander and I think we got Griphook as well. Yes, Griphook. For this level. That's all the characters, all the house cards, all that's the troopers as well. We play uh, we got student pearl. And we're going to check how many gold bricks we got. Yes, of course it's gold bricks. Got a hundred thousand ball as studs. That is quite good actually. And um, can I see the gold bricks now? Please, no I can't. Now please show me. So we got how many gold bricks did we got? Got 43, 44. 44 out of 200 gold bricks. See you in the next part.